हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू फाइंड आउट पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल ऑफ द लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशियंट वेन इट्स राइट हैंड साइड इज ऑफ द टाइप साइन ए एक्स और कॉस ए एक्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सॉ हाउ टू फाइंड आउट पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल वेन राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इज ऑफ द टाइप ई रेस टू ए एक्स लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स so let us see how to find out particular integral when rhs is of the type sin ax or cos ax we know that particular integral of the linear differential equation f of d into y is equal to capital x is given by yp is equal to 1 by f of d of this x now we are taking this case 2 on this rhs x assuming this rhs x is of the type sin ax or cos ax so first of all let us see the case on sin ax note that since this left hand side is a function of d it could have terms like d d square d cube and so on so we can assume this f of d as phi of d square as it contains terms of d square now the corresponding particular integral that is 1 by f of d of x can be written as 1 by phi of d square of sin ax as x is sin ax to obtain the value of 1 upon phi of d square of sin ax we simply have to replace every d square in this expression by minus of a square and keeping this sin ax as it is note that this sin minus is given to a square it is not minus a square so this minus sign will be there after squaring term a let us understand this with the help of an example consider this differential equation d square plus 1 into y is equal to sin 3x then the corresponding particular integral will be given by 1 upon d square plus 1 of sin 3x as i told here we have to replace every d square in this expression by minus a square here a is 3 so minus a square will be minus 9 we will put minus 9 here so minus 9 plus 1 is 8 so corresponding yp is minus 1 by 8 into sin 3x let me show you one more example in this example after substituting d square is equal to minus a square all the d's in the expressions vanishes but it may happen that in some cases after substituting for d square some d's will remain as it is like over here here a is 3 so to solve 1 upon d square minus 2d plus 1 of sin 3x we will replace this d square by minus a square that is minus 3 square so minus 3 square plus 1 is minus 8 and this minus 2d will remain as it is now we have to evaluate this but we can't because we do not have d square term in the denominator so to bring d square in the denominator we will rationalize this denominator by multiplying and dividing it by minus 2d plus 8 so by doing so in the denominator we have term like a minus b into a plus b which is nothing but a square minus b square here a was minus 2d so its square will be 4d square and b was 8 so its square is 8 square in the numerator we will have minus 2d plus 8 this sin 3x will remain as it is in the next step now let's operate 1 upon 4d square minus 8 square and sin 3x to solve this we simply have to replace every d square in this expression by minus a square so we get 4 into minus 3 square minus 8 square minus 3 square is minus 9 4 za minus 36 minus 64 becomes minus 100 in the denominator and in numerator we have minus 2d plus 8 of sin 3x now let's solve this numerator part we operate minus 2d plus 8 on sin 3x in this way so we have minus 2d of sin 3x plus 
इंटू साइन थ्री एक्स बट दिस डी इज नथिंग बट डी बाई डी एक्स दैट इज डेरिवेटिव सो डी ऑफ साइन थ्री एक्स विल बी थ्री कॉस थ्री एक्स फाइनली वी हैव माइनस टू इंटू थ्री इज सिक्स कॉस थ्री एक्स प्लस एट साइन थ्री एक्स अपॉन माइनस हंड्रेड एज पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल ऑफ दिस सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल वेल दिस मेथड ऑफ फाइंडिंग पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल बाई सब्सटीट्यूटिंग डी स्क्वायर एज माइनस ए स्क्वायर वर्क्स अंटिल दिस फाइ ऑफ माइनस डी स्क्वायर इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो आई मीन इफ फाइव ऑफ माइनस ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो then this method of finding particular integral fails so in that case that means when phi of minus a square is equal to 0 in that case we have to put x in the numerator and take the derivative of the denominator so in denominator we get phi dash of d square and this sin ax will remain as it is now you can solve this once again by replacing every d square in the denominator by minus a square it may happen that after substituting minus a square over here this denominator may come zero once again so once again you have to put one more x in the numerator so here you will have now x square and take the derivative of the denominator so denominator will become phi double dash of d square sin ax as it is so you have to continue the process until you see that that denominator is not equal to 0 after substituting d square as minus a square let me show you an example of this consider the differential equation d square plus 4 into y is equal to sin 2x so corresponding yp will be given as 1 upon d square plus 4 of sin 2x to solve this we will replace this d square by minus a square here a is 2 so minus a square will be minus 4 So minus four plus four will be zero. So it is the same situation. Phi of minus a square is equal to zero. So in that case, I have suggested put x in the numerator and take the derivative of the denominator with respect to d. So we'll put x in the numerator and derivative of the denominator is two d. This sine two x as it is. Now we operate one by d on sine two x. 1 by d is nothing but integration so we have to calculate integration of sin 2x with respect to x integration of sin 2x is minus cos 2x upon 2 so this is particular integral of this given differential equation i hope you understood this now let us summarize these results we see that if rhs of the linear differential equation is of the type sin ax then value of 1 upon phi of d square sin ax can be obtained by simply replacing every d square in the expression by minus a square provided phi of minus a square is not equal to 0 if phi of minus a square is equal to 0 then the value of the same expression can be obtained by putting x in the numerator and taking derivative of the denominator with respect to d and simply replacing every d square in that expression by Minus a square. Similarly, you can find out particular integral of the linear differential equation if the RHS is of the type cos ax. All you have to do is you have to simply replace this sine function by cosine function. Look at here. I hope now you don't have any doubt in finding yp. so let us see some real examples here we are asked to find the particular integral of d square minus 5d plus 6 into y is equal to sin 3x so corresponding yp will be given by 1 by f of d of sin 3x to solve this we have to replace this d square by minus a square here a is 3 so minus a square is minus 9 minus 9 plus 6 is minus 3 we already have minus 5d here this minus sign can be taken out to have 5d plus 3 in the denominator now we cannot solve this because we do not have d square in the denominator 
So to bring d square in the denominator, we rationalize this denominator by multiplying and dividing it by 5d minus 3. So in the denominator, we have terms like a plus b into a minus b, which contributes to a square minus b square. Here a is 5d, so a square is 25d square and b is 3, so it's b square is 9. Finally, now we are able to solve this. We operate 1 upon 25 d square minus 9 on sin 3x. Its value can be obtained by replacing this d square by minus a square that is minus 9. So we have 25 into minus 9 minus 9 of sin 3x. This 5d minus 3 will remain as it is in the numerator part. Simplifying this denominator we get minus 234 that minus sign with this minus sign becomes plus. Now we operate 5d minus 3 on sin 3x. So we have 5d of sin 3x minus 3 sin 3x. d of sin 3x means derivative of sin 3x which is 3 cos 3x. So 3 5 is a 15 cos 3x minus 3 sin 3x as it is. Finally, you can take out 3 common from this bracket and it will get cancelled with this denominator. So we get 1 by 78 into 5 cos 3x minus sin 3x as a yp for the given differential equation. Let us see one more example. Here we are asked to find the particular integral of d square into d square plus 1y is equal to sin x plus e raised to minus x. Here I see RHS consists of both the types of cases that we have studied so far that is when RHS is an exponential term and another case is when RHS is of the type sin AX or cos AX. Let us see how to solve this. Here YP will be given as 1 by F of D of sin X plus 1 by F of D of E raised to minus X. To solve this first part, we have to replace this D square by minus A square. But we have one more D square over here. So we put parenthesis here to avoid confusion in this way. And to solve the second part, we have to replace every D in this expression by A over here. Here A is minus 1. So substituting D is equal to minus 1 here. We have minus 1 square is 1, minus 1 square is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have 1 by 2 E raised to minus X. Now let's replace this d square by minus a square. Here a is 1. So after replacing d square by minus 1, we get minus 1 plus 1 as 0 in the denominator, which we have to avoid. So to do so, we will put x in the numerator and we'll take derivative of the denominator in this way. x in the numerator and derivative of the denominator is 2d of sin x. Now we calculate 1 by d of sin x. 1 by d is nothing but integration. So integration of sin x is minus cos x. So we have x by 2 minus cos x. Now we operate 1 by d square on minus cos x. To solve it, we have to simply replace this d square by minus a square. Here a is 1. So when I put minus 1 here, this minus sign and this minus sign becomes plus. So finally we have x by 2 cos x plus half e raised to minus x as particular integral of this differential equation. I hope you understood every step of this solution. Now I have two DIY examples for you. Try to solve them and compare your answer over here. Please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these differential equations or not. Thank you all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.